What's up, everybody? It's Real Cool Adventures. And we're off the coast of Boynton Beach, Florida. We're catching, I don't even know what. You can do anything you want when you're sexy. You ready? I'm ready. What we're doing today is we're fishing at the hardest time of the day to fish, two o'clock in the afternoon. Completely sunny, hot, moist, Boat ramp is packed full of people. Everybody's been in and out. The water's dirty from all the rain and runoff. So what did we do? We went and bought a whole bunch of live shrimp to up our odds. Now we're gonna go catch God only knows what right now. Lauren's job was to clean the boat out today. Yeah, well, I did such a good job. Clean the house. Imagine what her room looks like. It looks better than your whole house. Whatever. <laughs> Take that up in another video. Catch, clean, and cook whatever we can find in Lauren's bedroom. Smokey! See this guy right here? What's up, boys? What's up? We just bought a bunch of live shrimp. We're just gonna go hit the sea wall. I haven't fished that much lately. Oh, yeah. What do you think? The behind the, the honey hole? Yeah. Out back. Out back. <laughs> All right. How's the boat running? Smoking a little bit. It's not peeing, but we're hey. still moving. That's all that matters. And hey, it's just floating. He's floating. <laughs> if I call you, I need help. All right. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> That's one of the deadliest things in South Florida. It's called a giant sea ray, and they swamp everybody in kayaks, canoes, and Carolina skiffs. Anybody that fishes in South Florida knows about the sea rays. He's got, look, he just swamped the kayakers. Look at that. They're bobbing around like turds in a toilet. Just a week ago, the guy that left. A manatee breached and almost ripped them out of it. I don't know if you saw it, it's on YouTube somewhere. A manatee attacks or whatever. It was that guy in that canoe right there. He almost, it was really nasty and dangerous, but he's still out here because he's a trooper. <laughs> Woo! Good times. Somebody just got sucked through the inlet, so it might be kind of rough. Maybe he lost his surfboard. Is it rough? Yeah. Good. You never know, it's Point Inlet. It's home. There he is. There he is. Love that kid. One of our biggest fans. Happens to live right next door, but nice kid. All right, today we're gonna show you how to catch blue runners. You can pretty much go anywhere you want when there's not structure and get in the sand. And you just take shrimp and you drift them right along the sand real slow non-stop action it's fun with the kids it's fun for everybody you can use them for bait and they also make good table fare it's going down right now it's really going down it's like it's going down going down oh there he is we're on just like that drop your shrimp down hurry up Lauren get a bait we're on them fun for the kids and it's a really good workout for your abdominal area and your lower buttocks. That's another reason they're really good bait, because they don't give up. They just got yeah, lots of energy, lots of life. Just like that. We got dinner and bait. And around here, sometimes bait is dinner. Nice little blue runner, and they are good to eat. They look like nice and soft, nice white meat inside. Good marlin bait, great kingfish bait if the kingfish are around. Now we're gonna put them on ice. Lauren's on. Whoa, there he is. Oh. Sure you got a fish? There he is. Ooh, here bring him to daddy. Don't oh, knock daddy out with the weight. Trigger fish, follow him. That's it, it's that easy. You just take a nice live shrimp Drift it around in the sand. Make sure your daughter doesn't hook your hand. Fast, easy, consistent, and guaranteed. Get another bait, Lauren. Let's do, get another one. You heard of big pimpin'? This is called big shrimpin'. So what I basically did is made a small chicken rig. What a chicken rig is, just a series of hooks. And they call it a chicken rig because they used to put chicken feathers on them. So when they would steal your bait, then the feather actually look like a little bait fish in the water, but 
We're gonna use that concept. I'm gonna drop it down. It's gonna take like two seconds and I'm gonna catch the biggest fish that anybody's gonna catch all day around here. 80. I'm marking fish all over the bottom, Lauren. Hurry up and get a line down. Hurry up, hurry up, we're on them. Snapper City. Cool thing about using shrimp, they do not last long. Everything eats a shrimp. Even me. Even some of you. Lord, what do you got going on up there? Any luck? No time for that. First rule of the fishing fight club. We don't talk about the fishing fight club. Second rule of the fishing fight club. We eat what we catch. The third rule of the fishing fight club. We're going downtown, Julie Brown. Whoa. Throw it like a cast net. Shake it like a salt shaker. Let it down. We're in 43 feet. The reef really starts in about 50 feet. And all we're doing is using the current to drift along the inside edge, out in the sand. And these little ag aggressive things are all over in the sand. They're just everywhere. And they cannot pass up a little live shrimp. And they fight really good. We're kind of overpowering them. We have a little pretty big tackle for what we're catching, but we don't care. We're trying to put meat on the table. The fish is kicking your butt. You sure you got a fish? Yep. Looks like you got bottom. Look at that rod tip flexing. Get her the belt. Yeah, damn. We don't wear belts around here. We get spanked by them. Yeah, it's a monster. You might be eating dinner tonight. Yeah. Now you're starting to get it. Pick that thing up, show the camera. Come on, we're doing a fishing show. like a type of jack snapper hybrid. I got really small leader. I forget what test, but I know it's small. Is it 30? Well, let's get this show on the road. Really weird bite. Oh. Look at that little, little problem. That might have been our little bait stealer. That is called a trigger fish. Also known as a, a reef piranha. You don't want to stick your fingers in there. I was out here one day and one of these bit the crud out of my buddy's leg. We're diving in. See that trigger? The reason they call it the trigger fish? See that? You push that, and that's the trigger for this. If it's upside down, it's like a gun, like a gun trigger, like this. But the real reason, see that little lever? Once you push that, it goes down, the spine goes down. Pretty fish, but they have to be a little larger to keep. So. Say bye bye, little buddy. If you're wondering if you need a venting tool for those, we're so shallow and the way we're bringing them up, catch them right next to the boat, their bladder is not really going up. That's why they swim right down. But if we were catching them out deeper, we'd have a tool from the tackle box here. You, you poke them to the side and it lets the air out of their bladder. We don't need that. Not today, so here we go. Going for a runner. Got my number one stunner waving to you. Woo, woo, woo. And that little guy. That's it. Right there. And then another trick, you go. Round and round we go. Go scrub the ground. 
45 feet. You got a bonita or something. You got Atlantic sharp nosed shark. Whoa! Flying Jack! Marlin? Nice, get him in the boat. Don't knock anybody out the weight. Show it to the camera. What yeah. is it? What did you think it was? I don't know what I thought it was. What did you have for breakfast? Uh, Where are you? Food. There he is. All right. Nice little blue runner. It's like we're having blue runner stew. What you gonna do? We're having blue runner stew. All right, guys, we came out here in a matter of 20, 25 minutes. We burned through a bunch of uh, live shrimp, caught a bunch of a blue runner. I got one on right now. Now we're gonna go home and cook them. We got more than enough to eat. It's really hard to leave because it's fun. It's just nonstop. Every time you drop it down, you catch one. Look at that. Look at the tip of that rod. Whoa. Whoa. Good fight. I mean, it's, it's fun. Like catching little baby bonitas, except you can eat them. Whoa. Oh, well, you can eat a baby bonita, but these taste a lot better. So, that concludes our episode of How to Catch Blue Runners on live shrimp. Let's go home and eat them.